Welcome guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be looking at the Italian Government Scholarship. Fully funded Masters and PhD scholarships sponsored by the Italian government for international students and for Italian citizens living abroad. For foreign citizens and Italian citizens living abroad. So let me show you step by step how to apply for the scholarship. So as I said, it's for masters and um, PhD, but you can also register for special courses in arts, music and dance, as you can see here. So fully funded masters, usually you get the funding for the first year. And when you do well in your first year, your scholarship is renewed. So based on satisfactory academic progress in your first year exams, it is renewed for the second year, if that makes sense. So um, which courses and which universities are eligible for this scholarship? Well, it says here that you have to enroll differently or separately in an Italian university. So Google and look for Italian universities try to apply for a master's program and then come back to this um, website and apply for the scholarship. So it doesn't really give us a list of eligible courses. So it implies that all courses are eligible. That's the implication since there are no particular selections or there is no list. So it says here that you might get um, a list of um, you have to go to one of the participating universities and fulfill the criteria of the university of your choice there's an information about that here so in the university you choose there might be some applications requirements you need to provide so do that but this is now a separate application portal where you apply for the scholarship so a two-way application process you apply to one of the eligible italian universities or any Italian university, and then come back to this um, portal to apply for a scholarship. So this is a list of Italian universities here. So I'll be leaving a link to this below as well. So you can use this to check for the different universities and look for the ones um, offering the course you're interested in. So let's go back to the major document. So as I said, it's for masters special courses in arts, music, and dance, and for a PhD as well. I think there's a fourth um, funding option. So for those doing them um, like short research or visiting, um, visiting fellowships at research institutes in um, Italy or universities in Italy, recognized universities in Italy, you can also get this grant for your research. So now we have masters, special courses in arts, music and dance, PhD, and then research project, projects on the um, academic supervisors. So for each one, they have their own, they might have their own special academic requirements. For instance, for this special research, you might need to get um, like a letter of invitation from the university and a letter of acceptance or invitation from a professor who is ready to supervise you as well. So for a PhD, go to one of the universities we talked about, different universities here, check for their own PhD programs and how to apply for them. So most times there's not just one rule on how to apply for a PhD. Different universities might have their different criteria. So choose one of the universities here and then look for, dig up how to apply for a PhD and then come to this portal and also apply for a scholarship. You do not need to wait to get admission in one of these universities before you apply for the scholarship. Just do them simultaneously. So let's move on. So there is also this option of um, those coming to Italy just to learn the Italian language and culture. There's also funding for that, a three month funding. But these other um, kinds of funding, they are kind of renewable. So if you're doing a master's, it first funds your first six months, first nine months, almost a, approximately a year. 
then when you do well, you get another funding. The same for a PhD, and I believe for the other ones. But I think for this language course, it's just three months. So you come to learn and it's also sponsored. So what documents do you need to put in place? What eligibility criteria do you need to fulfill to get the scholarship? So it says you have appropriate qualification um, to be qualified for the scholarship, depending on the university you're going to. So I opened this link and it sent me to this page. And here you can get the list of documents, prepare your documents, a secondary school diploma, and declaration of value will be coming to this soon. Just your certificate, your transcript, um, if you studied an Italian course, Italian proficiency, if you studied an English language course, English proficiency, if you're from an English majority country or you studied in um, your previous studies in English, you might not need to provide an English proficiency um, certificate. So we looked at this, I talked about this document earlier, declaration of value. It means the accreditation of the documents you got or the qualifications you got outside Italy. So for your scholarship application to be accepted, it needs to be vetted. Your results have to be vetted in the first place. So your previous secondary school or bachelor's degree has to be vetted. And to be vetted through these links here, so they would give you what they call like a, a certificate of confirmation that yes, you've been cleared and your certificates are genuine. So I've opened the site already. This is the site here. So what you simply do is to open a portal here. So academic recognition to verify and to look for the compatibility between what you have already and um, the degree you're intending to apply for in the Italian institution. So you just open the portal here, get registered and send them, I think, scanned copies of your, send them scanned copies of your degree. So just open an account and just fill in. Um, to the best of my knowledge, no cost is involved because no cost was mentioned on their website. So in case they mention any application fee, well, it's not mentioned here, so I'm not certain. But try that on your own and see what they're asking for to um, verify your results. So that's a verification. You need a report from them to actually submit for this scholarship application. So let's move back to the major document. So there are age restrictions. So if you're applying for a master's or for the um, course in arts, music, dance, or language course, you have to be at most 28 years, 28 years by the, by the deadline of the course, of this scholarship. And the deadline, by the way, is June 9th, 2022. But if you're applying for a scholarship, it shouldn't be more than, for a PhD scholarship, it shouldn't be more than 30 years as at the deadline of the, of the scholarship. And if you're applying for these research projects under supervisors, you know, like visiting fellowships in Italian universities, it shouldn't be more than 40 years as at the scholarship deadline. So as I said, if your course is taught in Italian, then you have to have Italian proficiency. If your taught is taught in English, then you need English proficiency. But there are also waivers as well. You can also get waivers in case you were taught in English previously and things like that. I think it is written here. A candidate in possession of an English taught bachelor's degree may submit a document certifying that the study program of their bachelor's degree was entirely held in English. So that English proficiency letter would just be sufficient for this one. Um, you can see um, for a PhD and um, research projects under supervisors, no proficiency, no language proficiency is required. As you can see, so the scholarships can be renewed, like the bachelor's 
not the bachelor's done, the master's and PhD program can be renewed based on your performance. So if you do well in your first year, it is renewed for the second year. And PhD is usually like three, four years. So you continue to do well and you continue to receive money for your program. And yes, you receive funding. And let's get, let's try to get the, the amount of funding. There's also those who are not eligible that you can read that on your own quickly. So there are other kinds of extra grants you can get here. There's this grant here. And there's another one here for extra grants you can apply for in addition to this one. So you submit on this portal. You submit here on this portal. And let's try to open it and see what it looks like. And look at the deadline is the 9th of June 2022 now this scholarship also covers full tuition it covers full tuition so you wouldn't have to be exempted from paying tuition in um, the Italian University you get into and then you might just have to pay small what they call semester fee of like 200 euros that's after you get your your scholarship stipend you can pay like 200 euros for like students union fees or library fees those are very affordable which you can pay out of your stipend this scholarship also covers insurance so those who get it get medical and health insurance as you can see so this scholarship is worth 900 euros per month and it's usually paid quarterly so every four months i believe you get like this box sum that will take you through your living expenses and every other thing and sent through a bank account you'll be opening in italy so these are documents where you can get further information from what we've talked about already more detailed info on most of the information we've talked about already. So we've done a quick summary. So you can read this on your own and see what um, other additional information you can get. And there's another one on the eligible countries. You can also check here those who qualify for this scholarship. So it's a long list different countries from different continents as you can see you can see India already okay there's Mali here you can see Nigeria you can see Poland this is a very long list of a hundred and seven countries so it's very likely that your country is on this list very likely that your country is on this list that is ghana this is ecuador so as you can see dominican republic there are several countries here and i'm sure your country is likely to be on this list so that's it guys i hope it is clear first remember these universities i'll also leave the link to this um, page below this is like a list of different universities so you go to this university page and search out your um the course you're interested in you know you go to the page and search and see if any of them catches your your interest for instance so if you're for instance applying for a master's in let's say environmental sciences you go to one of these universities and check um in case any of them is applying is offering that course and see the applications requirements go there and apply and return to this page and also apply here as well submit your application here as well so i just clicked on the university of milan milano so this website gives like a summary of the university and 
the courses they offer and things you have to and things you need to know you could just type in here quickly environment and see if there are environmental courses so let's see environment let's see so there is this course in environmental change and global sustainability so we've clicked on it and let's see the result it will bring out. So University of Milan, Masters in Environmental Change and Global Sustainability. So if you're interested in this, you go to admissions and enrollment, you check the admissions deadline, the admissions requirements and things like that. The documents you need to provide. And so these, a kind of information that you'd need if you're interested in this scholarship. So do this for other um do this for other courses as well for other universities depending on which ones you're interested in. I just opened this one for example to show you the procedure you might have to um go through. And that's it guys. I hope this was useful. Fully funded master's PhD visiting research language courses, as you can see, in Italy. And you get a stipend of 900 euros every month. And you get also health insurance. So take advantage of this opportunity and many more opportunities on this YouTube channel. So I'll continue to feed you with lots of opportunities. And it is your duty to engage with them critically and put forward a competitive application. So as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you, get to work, dig into all these opportunities, and we'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now.